In a recent post shared by Li Yol on IG, he captioned this photo with exorcism. Small Hannah commented stating, I will always support you on every path you take. Their love is blooming folks and that makes me so happy. Hi guys. Behind the scenes stories from the second part of the interview with the members of Possessed Love have been released and they are nothing short of fascinating. First off, there's small Hannah, who couldn't stop laughing at herself for continuously pulling death cards during her tarot readings for Hongzhou. One fan even commented that the cards should be taken from her and burnt. She laughed and said her mom said the same thing. She admitted that she was obsessed with the cards because of the chaotic energy in the house. But, after meeting Liol, everything changed. Her mind found peace, and she finally stopped. And that, my friends, is the magic of the Liol effect. Meanwhile, Big Hannah explained the part when she first called her teacher and why she did so. She said she was beginning to like Hongzhou and wanted everything to go well. She felt the growing connection between Hongzhou and Shuhin but didn't want to get in between them, so she sought mental support and inspiration from her teacher. After saying this, she grabbed Hongzhou's cardboard cutout and hugged it lol. Hongzhou has really captured Big Hannah's heart, actually I agree with the sentence written on the screen that Hongzhou shook many women's hearts in the house. But that part where Hongzhou sensed that her house was messy and that there's a room she doesn't use still has her shook. She later said she was confused, and that she kept asking herself if she left her room messy at home ha ha ha. Then the part where they showed Hongzhou and Shuhin chatting till dawn. Shuhin looked really uncomfortable watching herself on screen, but explained it was because it was exciting to meet a fellow shaman with so many similarities. Then a fan's comment was revealed, asking where Leo was when those two chatted till dawn and his answer was hilarious. He said, first off, he left the room because he felt they needed some privacy and also, he has a habit of eating chicken with grape juice at night. So that's what he was doing folks. Anna even joked that sometimes he shares chicken with the ladies and hangs out with them. She made fun of him that the way he eats chicken is funny, shredding them into tiny bits before eating them. Hannah playfully claimed she gained weight because of all the chicken Liol shared with her. One particularly funny moment was when they reacted to Liol complimenting small Hannah in the car that she looked like a fairy, while animatedly using his hands to describe her cuteness. Small Hannah burst into laughter dropping a bombshell that this was when Leo was good at expressing himself. <laughs> the members were shocked, and Yuna asked if he doesn't do that now anymore. Leo clarified, saying he's the type who can't even say, I love you. But thanks to the show, he decided to focus and show himself as a human being. He said at that time, Hannah looked like a fairy so he decided to say so. However, watching himself on screen, he cringed and screamed wondering how things would turn out. Then people around him including priests and friends teased him relentlessly, with one even mimicking his fairy compliment gesture, much to his embarrassment ha ha ha. Leo was surprised at how expressive he was during the show, when watching himself. Don't feel embarrassed Leo. We all love the way you express yourself on the show and please don't stop telling Hannah how much you love and care about her. Shuhin's reaction was the most difficult to watch during this interview. She was the most hyper person on the show but during the interview she looked quite downcast which broke my heart a little. When Gubong's scene was shown when he held a stone during his walk after he realized he was the only one that didn't go on a date, Many thought he was praying and meditating but we found out he just did that to calm himself down, because he was bored of staying at home alone. He held the stone to relax but had to put it down because it was too hot lol. Shuhin reacted to this revelation with a pained expression, saying that watching it now made her heart ache. But Gubong, ever the optimist, tried to put a positive spin on the whole scenario. He explained that although he might have looked pitiful, it was just a moment for self-reflection and not as bad as it seemed. 
Small Hannah joked that during one of those times, Gubong followed her around in a sad state and read his tarot cards, to which he paid her with a piece of banana and in turn, she made him dumplings. Very interesting friendship don't you think? Shuhan on the other hand said she avoided watching her final date with Gubong when the show originally aired. But now, she was forced to confront it and admitted feeling terrible afterward. She actually apologized to Gubong for how she treated him during that last date saying she was sorry, and Gubong also apologized, saying he was sorry too. In my view, it seemed likely that she and Hongjo had tried dating in the real world but found themselves drifting apart after seeing themselves on the show. Then came the heartwarming ocean scene with Hannah and Leo. It was so good to see all their reactions. It was like the lovebirds fell in love again. They watched that entire part holding hands with Leo gently stroking her fingers. That was so sweet. He confessed that during that moment when he said he was sorting out his feelings, that was him almost giving up. He believed he only had a 30 to 40 percent chance of winning her over, while he thought Hong Zhou seemed to have a 60 to 70 percent advantage. Seeing Li Yol get emotional while watching that part again was truly touching. But the best reaction from the members was when they showed Li Yol praying for Hannah. The entire group was moved, with some on the verge of tears. Big Hannah was especially touched, saying it was incredible to see someone genuinely praying for someone they truly like. After Big Hannah expressed her feelings, Leo responded with profound words. He said, each person has their own burdens in life and unbreakable chains. There are parts you can't break even if you try. Hannah also has things predetermined for her. But even if you can't see me in society anymore, I pray that you could break those chains to some extent. How sweet is that guys? He prayed for Hannah to break those chains that were holding her down. This has a deep meaning and I am so impressed by Leo even more. And when asked what his last laugh meant at the end, he said because he knew that his relationship with small Hannah would work out. And he said this was the first time Hannah would be hearing him say that. Then Hannah's response was even more mind-blowing, she said she's always believed in destiny, believing that wherever she went, there was a person destined for her. But after converting from Christianity to Buddhism, she thought a lot about who Buddha sent for her, and whenever she met a guy, she would always analyze and read them. But she realized that she had never done tarot reading for Leo. And when she eventually did, she realized he might be the one. She said they've both gone through a lot of emotional pain from two years to now to reach the final choice about each other. Based on the way these two are affirming their relationship will last, is this their way of hinting to us that they have marriage in mind? I believe they will make it to marriage. I really hope so and wish them the best. Overall, the cast members were glad that they could watch the show together and for the memories they shared while filming the show. Here are small Hannah and Leo's final speeches. <laughs> 또 저는 거기서 이제 또 제가 정말로 많이 기다렸던 남자친구라는 존재를 만들어서 그래서 너무 감사했고 분들입니다. 너무 감사합니다. 또 오랜만에 이렇게 같이 이게 보는 건데 솔직히 좋으면서도 되게 낯뜨거웠어요. 네, 낯뜨거웠는데 저 과거를 한명한 한 명의 서사들을 이렇게 보면서 저도 인간이기 때문에 가졌던 편견들이나 이런 게좀 있었어요. 어, 결과론적인 거를 많이 보다 보니까 저거는 저래. 저래서 저런 거야. 근데 이제 그런 걸 되게 중시했던 사람인데 과정도 중요해 
음, 과정도 중요하고 타인의 감정도 상당히 중요해 그거를 많이 좀 공부하고 있는 과정에서 이거를 보니까 어, 추억이라는 그 소중함에 대해서 다시 알게 됐고 저도 오늘 기점으로 어, 또 한번 좀 성장해서 좋은 사람으로서 또 한나 씨에게도 좋은 남자로서 많은 모습들을 좀 보여드리고 싶습니다. 네, 감사합니다. I just love these two. I really love and enjoy the way Leo thinks and talks. What do you think about the second part of their interview? Were you surprised by anything? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video.